there and welcome to day 12 of the challenge. Today I want to talk to you about your about page. Now your about page is probably, it's pretty much a page that every blog out there has. If you don't have an about page, create one as soon as this video is done because you're dropping the ball big time. But I'm going to assume that you have an about page. And the thing is, you need to think about what goes on it because a lot of times the about page ends up being one of the most popular pages of your site for new readers. They're going to land on your page and they've never, if they've never been there before. There's a pretty good shot that, especially if the link is prominent, that they're going to click on that in order to find out what the hell you're talking about. So it's very important that you put effort into your about page because it really is a ma it's basically a sales page for your blog. You need to look at it that way. It, it's designed to sell you to a brand new reader. Now what happens is most people, they start their about page and they just start talking about themselves. And basically what it ends up looking like is either a resume of some kind or this boring story of where you came from and where you were born and all that crap. And the, the, you don't take this personally, but nobody gives a crap about you. That's just the truth. They don't give a crap about me either. They care about what I can do for them. You are probably watching these videos because you care about what I can do for you. You're not really particularly interested in me and my life. So you need to take that into account with how you put your about page together. So let me go over to my screen here and I want to show you the about page formula and how you can apply this to your own site. Okay, the about page formula is very, very simple. You wanna start out with a clear and concise elevator pitch. Now the elevator pitch, if this is not something you've heard of before, it's basically, um, it comes from the idea that if you're in an elevator with somebody for about 30 seconds, then you have the ability to succinctly state what you do, what the benefits are, and why somebody might want to do business with you. Well, obviously you're not gonna be in a position in, in an elevator here with your blog, and you're probably not gonna be speaking it out. However, you want your about page to begin with a clear and concise statement of what your blog talks about and what's in it for the reader. Very, very important. Now below that, I recommend that you go into further detail about the benefits of your blog, again, for your reader. What is this blog going to give them? What are they going to learn? Why is your blog different from other people? These are things that you need to put at the beginning of your about page. Step three is right underneath those things, have an opt-in box. Now we talked about the calls to action in an earlier video and the different in content stop points. Well, this is an in content stop point. You've now basically laid out the benefits of reading your blog. If you've done a good job of that and this person is a good fit in your target market, then that is a prime opportunity to get them on your email list. So you want to inject an opt-in box there. Now, step four, and again, this is what everybody else does and that is to include a story. However, you, you want to have information about you and where you came from. And if it's a brand blog, then you want to have maybe the history of that brand, but you don't want to make this boring as snot. You want to tell a real story and try to have some emotional highs and lows to it, just like any actual plot would have. Keep it succinct, but also as you write this, you want to keep it oriented around the benefits to the reader. Don't tell stuff about you and your past that has nothing to do with your you know, how you got what, you know, what the benefits are. I mean, keep it relevant to your reader. They don't need to know everything about your life and they really just don't give a crap. So keep it oriented. And then again, you've got yourself a natural stop point. So after that, that, um, story, have another opt in there. And that would be the step five of the about page formula. This about page is going to work a heck of a lot better than what I see most people do, which is just talking all about themselves. Keep in mind here, the mission of your about page. The mission of the about page is to clearly communicate your hook and your USP. The hook is essentially another word for your USP. It's it's really what is going to make your blog stand out from other people and a way to, you know, hook them like a fish and get them to want to read your site. The other purpose is to clearly communicate why they should read your blog. 
Very, very important. And then lastly is you want to form uh, some affinity and reality with you or your brand. Now, this is very, very important. You, uh, affinity is just a degree of liking, and then reality is going to be basically based around some common agreement. These two things are going to pretty much go hand in hand. If they look at your about page and you're speaking to benefits that are going to benefit them, then you've got a clear reality right there. You have a common reality. Also, as you tell your story, then there's going to be parts of that story that hopefully resonate or, with your reader. Maybe some of it sounds familiar with the way they came to be. And that is going to form reality, which again forms the affinity, which is going to create that bond with a potential reader. So very, very important. So that's your about page. You, very, very important that you understand the mission of your about page. I see so many bloggers when I evaluate their sites that they're thinking all about themselves. They think that when people come there, they want to know about you. And they don't. They don't care about you. They don't even know you at this point. They want to, they're want. they there, probably not paying all that much attention. They're just kind of like, eh, whatever. And that you need to reach out and hook them and get them to actually become a subscriber. You really want to wow them into that. That's what your about page is. And I'll end off restating this point that I mentioned earlier, and that is that your about page is a sales page for you, your brand, and your blog. You might not be asking for money, but you're asking for a subscription, and you're asking them to become a reader. So think of your about page that way. Stop talking about yourself, and you will have a lot more success with your about page. Okay, I will see you tomorrow, and I will talk to you soon.